Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we are going to design Geneva Drive mechanism, assemble and motion analysis with animation. First of all, we are going to design the driven wheel of Geneva Drive mechanism. So, let's start. Okay, now we are going to design the driven wheel. So, choose top plane is sketch now choose circle draw a circle define the circle 6 inch ok now choose center line and draw a center line ok now again choose circle draw two circle choose smart dimension and define the distance of these two circle 1.94 define this circle 0.38 diameter and keep this circle 0.75 ok now choose line and draw a line now select mirror entities entities to mirror select this line and mirror about choose this construction line ok now choose trim entities trim this line and this line ok now go for circular sketch pattern and entities to pattern select this line this line and this arc line now select six number of patterns and ok now choose center line and draw another center line ok now again choose circle and draw a circle define the circle 3.54 diameter and choose the distance between these two circle two circle 4.25 inches ok now choose trim entities and trim this now go for circular sketch pattern and select this point now entities to pattern select this arc line we want six number of pattern so and ok now choose trim entities again and trim the unnecessary lines ok now from feature choose extrude boss space and extrude it up to 3 inch ok now define color select red ok now save it driven wheel ok now we are going to design the locking disc so again choose top plane and choose circle draw to circle ok now keep the diameter of this circle 0.75 inch and this circle 3.5 4 inch 
okay now choose center line and draw a center line okay now from here choose center point arc and draw an arc choose the dimension and keep the distance 2.21 inch okay now use trim entities to trim it okay from feature extruded boss base and extruded it up to 3 inch so now define color choose green okay now save it locking disk now we are going to design the base so select top plane sketch choose a straight slot and draw slot choose circle and draw to circle select both of the circle and make them equal choose smart dimension and keep the <coughs> diameter 0.75 inch okay now keep the distance between this two circle 4.25 inch okay and keep the distance 6 inch okay now from feature choose extruded boss space and extrude it up to 3 inch okay now define color okay now save it base replace okay now we are going to design the crank so choose top plane sketch select circle and draw a circle and define the circle 5.25 inch again draw a circle and keep this circle 0.75 inch now choose a center line okay and make sure that this line is horizontal okay now choose circle again and draw a circle and define the circle 0.38 inch and keep the distance between these two circle 2.22 inch okay now from feature choose extruded boss base and extrude it up to 0.3 inch now define color and choose green again okay now save it crank now we are going to design the shaft so choose top plane sketch and choose circle draw a circle a smart dimension and keep the dimension 0.75 
ओके फ्रॉम फीचर एक्सट्रेट बॉस बेस एंड एक्सट्रेट इट अप टू टू पॉइंट फाइव इंच ओके नाउ डिफाइन कलर चूज रेड रेड ओके नाउ सेव इट शेफ्ट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू ड्रॉ द पिन सो सिलेक्ट टॉप प्लेन स्केच एंड चूज सर्केल ड्रॉ ए सर्केल स्मार्ट डायमेंशन एंड कीप द डायमीटर पॉइंट थ्री एट इंच ओके फ्रॉम फीचर एक्सट्रूडेड इट अप टू सिक्स इंच नाउ डिफाइन कलर सिलेक्ट ब्लू ओके नाउ सेव इट पिन ओके आवर ऑल पार्ट्स आर डन सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू एसेंबल देम ओके लेट्स एसेंबल द पार्ट्स ऑफ जेनेवा ड्राइव मेकानिजम सो चूज न्यू एसेंबली ओके नाउ ब्राउज बेस ओपन एंड ड्रैग इट हेयर एगेन चूज इंसर्ट कॉम्पोनेंट ब्राउज एंड शेप ड्रैग इट हेयर सिलेक्ट दिस प्लेन चूज मेड एंड सिलेक्ट दिस प्लेस मेक दैम कॉन्सेंट्रिक ओके नाउ सिलेक्ट दिस प्लेस एंड दिस प्लेस मेक दैम कॉन्सिडेंट ओके नाउ प्रेस कंट्रोल सिलेक्ट दिस शेप एंड ड्रग इट एवे चूज दिस प्लेस सिलेक्ट मेड एंड दिस प्लेस make them concentric <coughs> now select this face and this face make them coincident okay choose insert component browse driven wheel okay select this face Made and this face. Make them concentric. Select this face and this face. Make them coincident. Now see it's rotating. Okay. Again insert components. Browse the locking disc. Drag it here. Now select this face. Choose made. again this face and make them concentric select this face and this face make them coincident now see it's also rotating okay again select insert components browse crank drag it here now select this face choose mate and this face make them concentric okay now select this face and this face make them coincident okay now see it's also rotating now from here choose locking disc front plane and crank front plane and make them coincident okay now see locking disc and crank both are rotating at the same time now okay again insert components and browse the pin drag it here now select this face choose made 
and this face make them concentric now select this face and this face make them coincident okay okay now we have to place the driven wheel and locking disc and the pin in the right place so okay okay now it is in the perfect place now save it okay now we are going to apply motion so from here choose motion study up <coughs> from here choose basic <coughs> motion now we are going to add some relation at first choose this property and and edit it up to 25 frames per second and keep them high <coughs> to get higher resolution animation okay now from here select contact at first select this pin and this driven wheel ok now use motor select this face reverse direction and keep the rpm up to 20 rpm okay and now drag it up to 12 second <coughs> now calculate now see our things are going to match with each other there are they are making some problem so stop it and drag it at the beginning point and go to solid body contact edit feature and select here this locking disc and crank also now ok and choose calculate now calculate it see right now it's working perfectly so I hope you like my videos so don't forget to hit like comment and share and subscribe my channel to get more videos about solidworks design and projects okay now drag it down and play now see that it's rotating perfectly so this is the geneva drive mechanism motion analysis and if you want you can save the animation from here choose file location edit file name and keep the width and height ratio i always like to prefer 16 is to 9 and choose select from here microsoft video one make it unselect ok now again it's going to calculate and after calculating your video or animation will be automatically saved there okay thank you for watching